Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. It's 6 a.m. in the morning, and today we're going on a trip on monowheels. 280 kilometer trip from Whistler. No, not from Whistler. <laughs> it's very early still for me. From Vancouver to Whistler. So, let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. So now we're at our meeting spot, Science World in Vancouver. How are you doing? Well, you're also recording. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Albert, hi there. Hi, Doug. But that's the crew. Ready to rumble. All right, guys, so we are off, officially off. There is Albert on his Master Pro. There is also, in front of him, Doug on another Master Pro. So we're the three Master Pro tiers. And we also have behind us Aaron and Vincent on Sherman. So these are all long range wheels, definitely Master Pro's bigger range, but yeah, we are ready to hit it. Seated rides to conserve the energy. Anyway, look at the view behind us. It's, uh, it's so stunning. Anyways, I wanted to tell you guys about one thing that really changed the riding experience for me. Albert here from EFAM recommended me this, which is, which is the Senna RT1 Spider. It's an intercom, they have like different models. And the coolest thing is that we can just talk together without effort, it's like an open mesh. So all of the riders that are in range will be able to communicate which is awesome like no need for like big setup just one channel and then we we talk together and i can also play music talk via phone it's actually amazing like it doesn't have any wind noise you can hear everything so clearly just very simple button setup so highly recommend intercoms for riding together and finally you don't need to like scream to others and you don't need to be like in proximity to the other rider uh, to communicate. So now we discovered a new thing, just going behind each other very closely. Not only does it increase your range and make you warmer, it's also kind of dangerous. You could like take something out of like, this backpack. <laughs> but damn, I'm happy I woke up early today because the views, they're just nothing short of amazing. All right, so we are at our first charging and eating spot. Beautiful Horseshoe Bay. Small mistake, actually no charging, just eating because we still have plenty of battery. How much battery do you have left? 130 volts. <laughs> so that's like 90% or like 85 after 40 kilometers. After 40 kilometers, yeah. 
Yeah, something around that. 49 kilometers. 49. Oh, yeah, 49. <laughs> it's crazy. So we just finished our first pit stop. The landscape is getting more and more picturesque with every kilometer. Yes, kilometer, because we are in Canada, we make. And yeah, we're just gonna cruise on now. And in 30 kilometers, we're gonna have a small drone stop. So we're gonna take some cool footage there. And for now, we just keep on riding. Okay, so we're close to Squamish, which is around I think, 70 kilometers into the trip. I still have plenty of battery. The Sherman's not so much. And now um, we're heading here to Shannon Falls. I see a waterfall. I love waterfalls, so I'm very curious to see how it looks like. All right, so we just have our first charging spot and actually it's a charging spot for electric cars, electric vehicles. So I'll show you the setup, how it looks like. Uh, we did already 90, I did 96 kilometers. I the guys came from different places, so I don't know uh, how much they have, but I have 96%, I mean 96 kilometers and about 50-ish percent battery. So still a lot with uh, riding 50 on the highway part. So you can see that here we have the electric vehicle charging spot. Here we have a adapter. It's the J what five seven J one seven seven two. J one seven seven. Where did you get those, by the way? China, China. China. So you get them from China. And these are from IKEA. And these are from IKEA. <laughs> these are from Sweden. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and then we have the plugs here. So I'm charging at ten amps, one hundred thirty four volt. You are charging at, how much are you charging? Eight, eight amps. Then we have another, I think that's also eight amps. Doug, you're also charging at eight amps? Yeah, yeah. And then here charging at 15 amps. 15 amps. And then uh, Vincent will be charging at 10 amps. At 10 amps. So we are, we have a lot of amps and that's why we use the electric vehicle charging spot. Because here we have, you know, 240 volt, which is not common in, the land of the North America uh, and higher limits. So I think total here is six kilowatts yeah, yeah. for the one stand. So yeah, this is the way to go for longer trips. So in the meantime, I guess we'll look around, grab something to eat and then head on over. 96 kilometers, that was like 
It's 105 for, uh, for me, it's 105. For you, 105. Yeah. It like happened like nothing, pretty much. Yeah, it was pretty smooth. Just cold. I guess coldness was the only thing. In the shade, it was like kind of cold. I still have like a couple layers, but um, yeah, just make sure you have enough clothes if you do a longer ride. So yeah, we, we do that. And then soon we'll be on our way to Whistler. <laughs> How far is it to Whistler from here? Another, what, 50 kilometers? All right, so we just finished our charging stop. We are all topped up. I have the most battery because I have the least amount of drain and the fastest charger and then we sort of sw switched but uh yeah we should without any issues go to whistler i could probably go back without charging even yeah, uh so yeah i will be on the way to whistler fun times So we arrived in Whistler and there is a lot of electric cars. The one's charging. So we have just uh, three kilowatts here. So we're looking for more charging spots, um, or also like paid ones, so we can all charge at the same time. So that's the situation right now. It's really nice here. And yeah, it's like on the Master Pros, it was just a breeze to go here. Really no effort. With the Shermans, especially with a bit of mileage. One of them has 15, the other one 25,000 or 10, 15,000 kilometers. Uh, so we can really feel the range difference. Like I have 40% battery left with charging. Um, and uh, Albert had, I don't know, 10% left so or 20. So with, even with slower charging, those things are really made for long distance cruises. So yeah, we're gonna charge around here some more and enjoy Whistler. So a lot easier than expected. <laughs> Alright, so we found a better charging spot here at the Westin. All of the wheels are charging. Mine at 10 amps, this one at 11 amps, Albert's here. We are also charging our uh, Senna's, our communication devices. And here we have another three wheels. Also at 11 amps. How much are you charging at, uh, Aaron? What's your charging rate? 18 amps. So you can see here actually, for quick charging, they have a BMS bypass. So it goes not through the BMS. Because the BMS is passive either way, so it uh, just balances the battery pack at 100%. So for shorts, you know, it's still a bit of a DIY solution, but for like extreme fast charging, because the cells can handle it, um, this is sort of what they use here. And here we have the Sherman at 10 amps. Now, I guess one person will stay here. 
watch the wheels and yeah, in the meantime we'll eat something. I'm waiting for the day where wheels will have the J1177 plug. Uh, so you don't need to watch them, you just like leave them here. Yeah, cool. All right, so we just finished charging. We're back on the road again, the four of us, because uh, Vincent is staying here. I'm almost at a full charge because I charge more in Squamish, uh, but yeah, we back on the road and going back to Vancouver, which hopefully will be a lot of fun. I got it on camera. You got it on camera? I got it on camera. <laughs> oh, that was a nasty pedal clip. Two hundred ninety kilometers. No, no. Until we're at the end. Energy is definitely going down a bit, but we'll stay strong. Oh wait, I'll turn off the <laughs> uh, intercom. So yeah, wheel still strong, rider still strong. And 300 kilometers in a day doesn't seem so difficult in the end, but we can definitely feel it in our legs. I feel it more in my shoulders. Guys, okay, so where do you have your most pain after 290 or 300 kilometers on, on wheels? Shoulders. Shoulders? Yeah, from backpack holding. Most of that. Tired. Yeah. Erin, what, what are you the most tired about? Like, this is your Heavy shoulders, <laughs> what part of your body? Heavy gear, that's it, my shoulders. Yeah, shoulders, same. Yeah. Maybe we just need to add something to wheels to put backpacks on there instead of... Yeah, like, on the kind of, kind of Yeah. Oh yeah, still going strong. A little more time To make sure that we're doing this right Oh yeah, oh yeah Give it. 
that I stop by just one more time and let you know what's really on my mind. Oh yeah, we both got a lot to say, but the words escape. All right, guys. So I just made it back. Um, Sadly, my app resetted darkness bar, so I can't tell you exactly now what the distance was. But something around 310 kilometers via the app, probably via GPS, like 280, 290. Still a lot of fun, but I am really tired. Uh, I will take a bath bomb, probably, stretch, and enjoy my evening. So, I'll wait. So, if you're still here, leave a like on the video subscribe to see more content like this i'll see you in the next video see you soon all we guaranteed is a little change oh i don't want my heart to feel this way again